I swear, for so long we have been like brainwashed into thinking that we need to work in jobs that we absolutely hate, spend our lives being miserable. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I own it now. Something about the race to the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So, the life of an entrepreneur. This is a new series that I've been wanting to do for so, so long. So long. And I did kind of do little bits of it in some vlogs that I've done that are on my channel as well, if you want to check them out. But I did kind of show little things of what I do in my day-to-day -day life of, like, building a business and that kind of thing. But I want to dig into like deeper aspects of it and actually talk about like the process of it and how to do certain things and give my tips and stuff and just learn as we go you know so I thought I would do a quick intro for this series just talking about why you actually should go after your dreams why you should pursue your goals and pursue something that you're passionate about because I swear for so long we have been like brainwashed into thinking that we need to work in jobs that we absolutely hate, spend our lives being miserable, just like the need to survive has taken over the need to experience joy and happiness and love. So I feel like we literally have spent so long, like generations upon generations of being stuck in a system of work not being fun and work being like a torturous chore based thing that you have to do and that we need to do because we need money so then we're constantly chasing money and constantly stressing and like just in such anxious spaces of emotion so yeah I'm realizing like I mean I've been realizing a thousand times over in different ways that we can do anything that we want like we're in such a powerful time and such a free time where you can access the com the consumer, you can access like whoever it is that would be your customer, you can reach them in any like location, at any time zone, any time that you want to, just through our phones. So like not only is it easier now, but also like who wants to be fucking miserable <laughs> i mean i feel like for me it's so obvious and so simple and so like when you weigh up the options do you want to work a job you absolutely hate or do you want to do something that you love <laughs> like for me it's just so like i could never ever go back to being stuck in that but then at the same time i also understand how easy it is to get stuck in that because i was stuck in that before and like obviously the need for money and the need to put a roof over your head is like a huge thing so I understand that aspect of it but I also realize that like even doing something that you love doesn't even have to be a career like it doesn't have to be something for money money shouldn't even be a part of it anyway even when you are starting a business or pursuing a passion because it takes a long time to build a business from scratch, like from the ground up. It takes a lot of work. And I feel like I literally work more than somebody that works a nine to five. Like it doesn't stop, you know? You don't have weekends, you don't have nights off, you don't have days off. You're literally, like all I think about is music. All I think about is like marketing strategies and like, you know, it's just constant, but it's because I love it, so it doesn't feel like work. Whereas if I was doing it for somebody else, I would be like, kill me now, <laughs> like, this is not fun, you know? So, yeah, I just think, I forgot what I was even going to say, like, I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Where was I going with that point? So it doesn't even need to be a career, it could just be something that you're passionate about, like literally choosing a hobby, literally choosing something that makes you feel good, and it can be anything, it could just be going for walks, you know, choosing something that makes you feel happy, makes you feel inspired, brings joy into your life, and I feel like with the state, like the mental state of the majority of the collective right now where depression and anxiety and all of these things and like mental health is really a big issue and a big thing that we're talking about now um so I feel like 
it's really important to find things that will excite you, like things that will feel good, things that you like, things that you're passionate about. And that is kind of a really big key factor in how to get out of a depressive state, you know, like having something to focus on that isn't anything to do with fear or anger or sadness, but something that actually inspires you and makes you want to get out of bed, you know. So I definitely feel like it's such an important thing to be doing and it just feels so free. Like I feel so free and it feels so liberating and so necessary and so important. But when you're stuck in the, like, I want to call it a cage really, like it's a mental cage. When you're stuck in that, you can't even see how you could ever get to the place of feeling free and feeling happy and feeling joy. So I just want to start off this series by literally saying and putting the message out there that like it's so good to do things that feel good you know and like relieving the pressure of it needing to be a money making thing relieving the pressure of it needing to be successful or like appear a certain way to other people and just literally doing something that you enjoy something that you're passionate about whether it is building a business or whether it is like creating a hobby or whatever kind of thing it is but I just think it's so important for our mental well-being and our sanity and like it's just such a key factor in your mood every day you know like it's habits and routines what you have to get up and go and do every day determines and like affects how you feel and if you're constantly waking up and having to go somewhere that makes you feel sad that makes you feel annoyed that makes you feel anxious that makes you feel uncomfortable and then you're just going to constantly keep feeling those emotions every day so I really think the key to understanding where our mental health issues are rooted is definitely like looking at your habits and your routines and your environment and your day-to-day -day life as, as well as like a lot of other things but those are definitely key factors into just the fulfillment that you feel to be honest like it doesn't even have to have anything to do with purpose and giving to other people it can just be something for you something that feels good literally just feels good you know so yeah this is kind of the start to the series I'm gonna go into tons of different things like literally I could think of a million things right now because my mind is always thinking about it so there's so many things I can show I want to show like behind the scenes of my merch company when that launches which is hopefully in the next few weeks but like there's just so much to everything that we do and so much to everything that I'm trying to do because I am going into many different avenues with music and merch and spirituality and YouTube and like all of these different things. So I just want to show everything, you know, why not? Might as well. And also I kind of want to do it because I feel like it's empowering for other people. Like when you, I know that I always watch these kind of videos and it like inspires me and gives me ideas and makes me realise like, oh, that's what it's like to live that kind of life. Oh, that's what it's like to do that kind of thing or run that type of business. So yeah, I just want to show that it's possible for you to do, you know, no matter what scale it is that you're trying to do because it doesn't really matter to be honest it's just about feeling good inside so yes I think that's it for this video but thank you so much for watching all the links to my music and my merch company and everything like that is all in the description below and don't forget to hit the notification what's the phrase I'm looking for the notification bell like I couldn't even think of what it's called then the notification bell and subscribe and everything like that so you'll be notified when I upload a next video because we have them three times a week. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a